hi everyone and welcome if you have such requirement in which you want to convert your opc ua data to mqtt then we have a solution for you okay so here you can see i have process opc ua simulation server running in my local host so i want to read the data of process opc ua simulation server and i want to publish the data to mqtt broker okay and here you can see i have mosquito mqtt broker running in my system so i'm going to read the data from this process opc ua simulation server and i'm going to publish the data to mqtt broker and with the help of mqtt explorer software i'm going to read that data okay so if i connect with the mosquito uh, broker then you can see i am getting this data okay here you can see the graph as well okay so i have done everything with the help of node red so here you can see this is our flow so in the node red i have connected with the opc us server and in the node red i have write some functions and everything to publish the data to mqtt broker whatever node red reads from process opc ua simulation server okay so this is one kind of solution for your problem wherever you want to convert or publish the opc ua data to mqtt broker okay so let's see the uh, node red flow so here is our node red flow it's a very simple and straightforward node red flow okay so here is the first node which is timestamp node inside the timestamp node i have configured which tag i am going to read from my process opc us simulation server so if i open my opc us simulation server and if i go to object then for the counter you can see it's a namespace 3 and node id 1002 so that thing i have to configure here for each tag which i want to read from my opc us server and it can be any opc us server okay so it can be process opc us simulation server or any industrial opc us server it can be any opc us server it doesn't matter okay so you have to provide the uh, namespace and id here for the tag which you want to read from your opc us server then after in the setting you have to provide the type as a read because we are going to read the data and then we will publish or we will convert the data to mqtt so that is why here is the read and then delay start one second and then after i want to repeat at interval of one second so that is why you can see we have a continuous data here you can see sinusoid square triangle sawtooth random and counter so this is how it will continuously read the data from opc us server and it will continuously publish the data Data to mqtt broker okay so this all the setting you have to do in the timestamp or you can see the iot inject node then after read value node so here is the iot read node okay so the same node is here so inside the read node you have to provide the endpoint url of your opc us server so in the connector you can see process opc us simulation server and if you click on this pencil icon you can see i have provided the endpoint url of my process opc us simulation server and you can see opc.tcp parrot 4840 opc us simulation server okay opc.tcp parrot 4840 opc us simulation server i have kept this session alive i have provided the name like process opc us simulation server and in the security i haven't configured anything because i am using the security policy and the security mode as none the strategy is uh, not configured because I'm not going to use it. Okay, so that's it about this uh, OPC US server configuration. And here we are going to read the values. So I have set it as a read value and I have ticked this as a just send values. Okay. And then after this is the response node which is simplifying the response of the previous node okay so if you open it and in the filter i haven't configured anything and in the setting i have just take one thing that simplify the result okay so that's the only thing this response node is doing and then after i have provided the response to this function node which is converting all the data in the format which mqtt node is supporting okay and here you can see that data and in the mqtt node we have to configure our mosquito broker ip address and the port number and if you are going to use any other broker or any other cloud broker then you have to provide the ip address and port number for that cloud broker okay and you have to provide the you know uh, id password and certificates for that broker so here you can see the server so 127.0.0.1 colon 1883 which i have used here okay because it's my mosquito 
broker and which is running in my local system so that is why i have to provide this ip address and port number okay you can see localhost ip address port number protocol mqtt version 3.1.1 i'm going to use the clean session and connect automatically okay and in the security i have provided nothing because my in my mosquito broker there is no username and password and here also i haven't configured anything okay that's it and uh, yeah i have set the qos to zero and retain to false okay and that's it we can deploy this flow we can go to mqtt explorer and we can connect to our mosquito mqtt broker and here you will have your data at interval of one second if you want to change the interval then you can go to your flow you can change the timestamp node and here in the repeat section you can change the second that you want to repeat the inject node i mean you want to inject this node at how much second okay so th that thing you have to configure here so but i want to read the data at every one second so that is why i have configured it for one second okay and here you can see i am getting the data at interval of one second okay so this is the sinusoid this is the random this is the sawtooth and the square and the triangle so once you have multiple data you will see the clear graph for each uh, you know tag and this is how you will get this tag here so once you get this tag and if you are using cloud mqtt broker then you can use your smart devices like phone tablet laptop to connect with that cloud mqtt broker and you can create some gui for your data okay if you want to generate a graph or if you want to present the live value then also you can do it it's up to you how you want to scale this solution for your customer Okay, so our node trade flow will continuously read the data from process OPC with simulation server and it will continuously publish the data to our MQTT broker which is Mosquito MQTT broker and here in the MQTT Explorer which is MQTT client software or you can say MQTT uh, subscriber which is subscribing to those data and it's reading those data and it is showing the graph for those tags. Okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and if you still have any question or concern then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can reach out to me via email or you can also comment on this video and if you want to buy this flow or if you want to purchase this flow then the shopify store link will be available in the description of this video also i will attach the product link with this video so you can directly purchase from our shopify store so i hope everything is clear to you and you can also use for any other opc us server as well okay i have used this for simulation server but if you have any actual industrial opc us server then also you can use this if you want to use it for multiple opc us server then also you can use it okay so here uh, if you want to use it for multiple opc us server then you can add another opc us server here and you can also use it for multiple opc us server and if you want to use for multiple mqtt broker as well then also you can add another mqtt broker and you can use it okay so every uh, chance is possible with this node red flow if you want to collect the data from multiple opc us server then also it's possible if you want to send the data to multiple broker then also it's possible so it's up to you how you want to design this solution so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or concern then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you